Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And in today's video, we're going over what is in my reseller toolkit. And these are the items that I use very frequently to get my items prepped and ready to be listed. I have made one of these videos before, but that was two years ago and I just watched it today and it's a little cringeworthy only because I wasn't great at editing. Not that I'm great at it now, but I at least have some more knowledge about it. I wasn't as comfortable in the camera as I am today. And I've now been reselling for almost four years. It'll be four years in September. So my reseller toolkit, the items that I use very frequently, has grown and quite significantly too. So the items I'm about to show you are in no particular order, but they are kind of grouped in like cleaning versus uh, repair versus um, mostly cleaning, honestly, because I feel like that's all I ever do. I will have links for these products or at least most of them in the description box. They are Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on them and you purchase anything or if you purchase anything from Amazon at all using my link, I do get a small percentage back. It is teeny tiny little cents, but I appreciate you clicking on my link anyway. I always like to spread a good deal to others if you're looking for these types of items. So first off, we have cleaning rags. This is just an old towel that I cut up. Um, I think I cut it into half, so I have two of these. And then this is just an old stained t-shirt. I love this t-shirt jersey material because it's gentle on the items that you're cleaning and it just seems to do a really good job. The reason why I like these are because I can reuse them, I can clean them, I can wash them, and they are eco-friendly because I'm not clogging up the earth with paper towels or things like that. Next up is a very important item for me anyway, is a measuring tape. I measure all of my clothing, pants, shirts, skirts, hats, uh, shoe, heels, everything. I use this in all of my listings. I even use it to measure boxes and, you know, terms of putting the dimensions into eBay. So very important. You can pick these up literally anywhere, Walmart, Dollar Store, probably Amazon, and they're pretty cheap. Along with a measuring tape, I also have a mini sewing kit. I actually have a mini sewing machine that I do not use. So it's just a bunch of thread, some needles are in there, and some pins too. And I also have a box full of buttons. Buttons are great to have for repair items. There we go. I knew one was gonna fall out. But these buttons have come from all over the place. I've gotten them in jewelry lots before. They've actually come off of clothing. These are just really great to have in case you need to make a quick repair. And they probably even have like a, a replacement button starter pack or something like that on Amazon. I, I feel like Amazon literally has everything. So you can probably find something like that if you don't have your own. Next up, we have nail polish remover. This I use on the bottom of shoes in order to get some type of markers out. My thrift stores like to use silver Sharpie, so this does work. And you can also sometimes get scuffs off of patent leather shoes and purses with acetone. Next is Angelus Cleaner. This stuff is awesome. It doesn't smell, it doesn't feel too chemically. It's really just a, a soap solution. And it's good to use on suede, which is primarily what I use it on. Leather, buck, rubber, linen, Gore-Tex, nylon, satin, canvas, plastic, and vinyl. So it really does a lot of things. And it's actually made in the USA, which is pretty cool to support a company like that. And next up we have the marvelous Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. This is a great leather conditioner. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It took me forever to purchase this as a reseller for some reason. I think because I've never actually owned any leather goods. And so I was so scared to ruin the leather because I really didn't know what I was doing, but I watched enough YouTube videos. I watched other people use it and I felt comfortable and finally purchased it on my own comes in this little tin. There is a removable cup. So it's just your little applicator sponge that comes out and then it is literally like a balm. 
It is a little bit waxy, but you scrub it into leather and it conditions it, it makes it moist again, and it actually prolongs the life of leather itself. Next up we have scissors. They're nothing fancy. I use this to cut off price tags from stores and also just extra strings that are hanging about. I have a clothespin, teal of course. I actually have a white one too, but this I actually use in conjunction with my measuring tape when I'm measuring um, inside of boots. So like the opening of a shoe or a hat or anything basically that I need to make a circle out of. I will take my measuring tape like that and then I will clip it onto whatever I'm measuring and that way it stays in place. It's so easy, so definitely have one of these. And I also use this on the back of dresses if I need to cinch in the waist in order to give it some shape and definition. This is handy for that too. Then we have our lovely Scotty peeler. As you can tell, this one has been used <laughs> quite a bit. So this is to get stickers off, but I also use it to get gunk out of the tread of shoes. It's a lot easier than using my fingernails and having them break. Um, this fits nicely into those grooves. So I have a set just for shoes only, and then I have another one to take off the price tags. And in conjunction with the Scotty Peeler and price tags is Goo Gone. Goo Gone is great to get out the sticky residue that's left over. And I have also seen a lot of people use that to get the marker off of shoes on the bottom that the thrift store is right on there. I haven't had luck with that, but every area uses different products to mark their shoes. So just make sure to do your research before using that product. Next, we have a shoe cleaning brush. As you can see, it has been used. So this is technically a suede brush, but I do use it on other things too. Um, you have this soft plastic bristle front here, and then you have these sides that are also nice to get into nooks and crannies. And then on this side, you can see it's bristles. And in the middle, it also has metal brushes, which is really nice to get into the suede and make it look fresh and new again lint roller. I use this all the time. Um, in fact, I use it so often that I had to invest in a six pack <laughs> from Amazon. So I am stocked up. One thing I do want to point out is that I buy replacements for this. I don't really like to, you know, use up plastic too much. So as soon as I'm done with this, I just pop this on and you're ready to go. It's pretty easy. I do use the brand Scotch Bright, but you can literally use anything that is sticky, any brand, Walmart, Dollar Tree, it all works the same. Along with lint rolling, I also have my sweater shaver. This I have had for about three years now. It does still work, but I know that the blades inside are starting to get dull. We'll probably invest in a new one soon, but this is awesome because it's portable, handheld, no cords, it's all battery run, so this is a good one to start out with. Next up, we're gonna go through items that I have specifically for jewelry. The first one is this little kit that I picked up at Michael's. It comes with three sets of pliers, a bead board, a tweezer, a cutter, and then a little storage box. Very handy, fits perfectly in my desk. I also have a polishing cloth. And you'll see I probably have polished some things in there. Yes, that is what that is supposed to look like. This inside you specifically use for sterling silver and all of that tarnish and stuff does come off inside. And then the outside layers you can just use for polishing non-sterling silver jewelry. Those are very handy to have and they work very well. Next up, I have a diamond tester. Ooh. I haven't had any diamonds show up in any of my boxes yet, but I have tested diamonds in my ring and I have a few necklaces that have some diamonds, so I know that it does work. And this also will tell me if it's something other than plastic or glass and it may be a type of gemstone. I also have all of my acid solutions. This is the 14 karat. And that goes on this, you scratch the jewelry on here and then you put the acid on to see if it's 14 karat gold. And I do have a sterling silver one as well. And then the last thing in my jewelry kit is my itty bitty little magnet. It came off of a magnet that belongs on the fridge. So this test for non sterling silver jewelry, if it is magnetic, it is not silver. It's more like an alloy, a mixed metal kind of thing. Next, we have this Wright's Silver Cream. 
I love this stuff. I love polishing silver. It's very therapeutic for me for some reason. Um, but it is a cream. So I got this at Walmart. It comes with a little pad inside. You can see that I have used this quite a bit. In fact, I really need to get a new sponge because I've started putting holes in this one. But it's this like mauve colored paste that you rub on. Very good for polishing silver. And if I ever needed to use it, I could probably do it on jewelry too. But thankfully my polishing cloth does a good job too. We have a few different brushes to go over. This is just a laundry brush. It is soft bristle and it's like hollow inside. So all of this, the water and stuff will drain out. Very lightweight, nice to have. You can hang it up on a little hook there. I also have a toothbrush. I absolutely love using toothbrushes. They're great for stain treatments. It's great to rub the products in to get the stains out. I also have one for cleaning shoes. Oh, and I also use it to clean jewelry and other accessories that I need to get in nooks and crannies. Then I also have a bottle brush. Yes, it's rusty. It has been well used, but <laughs> it is for reselling only. I don't use it on anything else. This is just in case I buy like a vintage vase or something that I can't get my hand inside, I will use this. Sometimes items will smell and if I'm not able to launder them because it's dry clean and I don't really wanna pay money for dry cleaning, I have a few options. This stuff is pretty darn good. It is called Zero Odor. It is rather expensive, but I will say it is worth it. I had a skirt that smelled like moldy grossness. I sprayed this on it because it was a dry clean only. I think it was like a mohair blend. The smell completely went away. I actually use this on our sofas and our mattresses when I'm changing over the sheets and everything. It does have a smell of bleach when you spray it and it is pretty strong. So keep that in mind, but it does work great for neutralizing odors. And then if that doesn't work, I have Febreze. This is the gain scent, but you can pick any scent you want. Just be careful when you use this because it is strong and you certainly don't want to send this to somebody who has allergies or, you know, problems breathing or they're sensitive to smell. So keep that in mind. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll spray this or this on the item and then I'll take it outside and let it in the sun because the sun is a great deodorizer for the most part. It gives you that like freshly laundered smell. So I'll use those with the sun too. And now into the cleaning supplies. So I have one single glove in case something is super grody and I don't wanna touch it. I also have used this for bleach projects before because bleach on your hands is not good. These are my favorite disinfecting wipes. It doesn't have to be this specific brand. This is actually just from Amazon. There was a three pack. I use these for cleaning shoes, cleaning purses, cleaning hard goods, cleaning jewelry. I basically use this for everything. This has like a lemony scent, but you can get unscented. Absolutely love these. And I don't just use these willy nilly. Like I will actually use the entire sheet to make sure that I'm not wasting product or making, you know, the environment worse. But as you can see, I think I was cleaning jewelry or something. Uh, whatever it was is pretty grody, but it's still wet and there are still some areas that I can still use to clean small spaces. So I always just put it back in here and um, that way it'll stay moist and ready to go. I have Dawn dish detergent. This is great for cleaning the bottom of shoes. I will use this and this and sometimes my toothbrush depending if I need it. This is also good for stain treating. If you use Dawn baking soda and hydrogen peroxide and make it into a little paste. It does a really good job at eliminating specifically grease stains because Dawn is awesome for grease. Another stain treatment item. This is an OxyClean stick. This does not work 100% of the time. I'd say it works about 65% of the time for getting out stains. It does say it works on all stains, but sometimes it doesn't but I love the smell of it. It smells very clean, very fresh, and it has these nubbies on top that you can rub into the fabric, but I will also use my toothbrush to help it in too. Another cleaner, this is Blue Coral or Corral. 
I think it's coral. Um, this is upholstery cleaner. So I use this specifically on inside linings of purses, uh, backpacks, anything that is like upholstery. You can also use this on the fabric of the interior of your car and also on like couches and other fabric things that you can't stick in the washer. It smells really good too. Oh, and it has these little nubbies up here to help get it in all the nooks and crannies. Another spot treatment is Amidex. This is the smaller version. I definitely would upgrade to a larger size if I could because this does go pretty quickly. I have noticed that I will have to use several applications of this in order to help the stain subside, but this is also very good for removing ink stains. Now it is not always 100% effective, but it is your best bet when it comes to ink. I've also used this for deep like set in stains. This I will actually use my fingernail to get in the fabric. I could use, and I have used my toothbrush before, but it just doesn't get in the fabric as well as I needed to. And it does actually recommend that you use your fingernail. So my finger and this <laughs> go together. <laughs> We have some good old fashioned white vinegar, distilled vinegar. I actually have a huge jug of this too. This is great for getting rid of odors and also uh, cleaning verdigris off of jewelry. And I will also use this to clean my steam cleaner, which I just did a video about that. So I'll link it up here if you wanna see how I use vinegar for that. We have a Tide To Go pen. This is really only good for like new surface stains. So if you have a set in stain, I wouldn't use this, but it is handy to have just in case. And I have found that it works better than some of the other stain treatment options that I have. And then the last item is Tide Rescue. It does have OxyClean in it. This is a laundry stain remover. So you spray it on the stain, you scrub it in, you let it sit for five minutes or longer, and then you launder it like you normally would. It is a relatively new product, so I'm not sure if it's available in most stores, but it is definitely available on Amazon and it's good for clothing, carpet, upholstery, and pets. Well, I think that is everything for my reseller toolkit. I hope I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure I got it all together and I'm not counting like shipping products like my tape gun and my box cutter because really to me, shipping is kind of separate from these types of items. These are just specifically for prepping things in order to get them ready and listed. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you're interested in anything that I showed you, most of the links of the products will be down below. They are all Amazon links. And if you like this type of video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, we would love to have you here. I'm almost to 1000 subscribers, which is super exciting. And one of my goals this year is to be monetized and reaching 1000 subscribers is the first part of that. So thank you again for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.